streaming live now on news8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this weekend. Good evening and thank you for watching News 8 Now this weekend. I'm Michael Germain. More rain fell across the region today. Let's check in with meteorologist Bill Grawl to see if we have any more in the forecast for tonight. Yeah, thankfully, Michael, things drying out tonight and for tomorrow, but boy, overnight, heavy rain over southern Minnesota caused some flooding issues in Fillmore County, where three to five inches plus of rain fell. Even into Winona County, some reports of mudslides along Highway 61 there are earlier this morning. And then this evening, a heavy batch of rain, uh, several inches from Allen McKee County into Crawford County, Richland County, some flooding there, some mudslides reported around Lansing, Iowa, uh, Highway 9 there, and also Highway 35 was closed for a time in both directions north of Ferryville, uh, but that has since reopened. So if you need to travel in these areas overnight or early tomorrow, uh, watch those roads. There could be some washouts or some debris in the roads from all of the heavy rain over the past 24 hours. So all this heavy rain has area rivers running high. Some much needed dry days in store for tomorrow and Monday. Another chance of storms uh, Monday night and into Tuesday of next week. In the meantime, just a little batch of uh, light showers, maybe isolated thunder scooting through the region, but the heavy stuff from earlier this evening has now pushed into northern Illinois. Current temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s and we will see overnight lows in the mid 50s to lower 60s right around 62 uh, in the cross. I will detail that eight day forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Thanks, Bill. Tonight, the Ho-Chunk Nation is celebrating a memorial highway being named in honor of the World War II Code Talkers. The Code Talkers were indigenous soldiers working for the American military who use native languages to communicate secretly during wartime. In March, Governor Tony Evers signed a bill officially recognizing a stretch of Interstate 90 as Ho-Chunk World War II Code Talkers Memorial Highway. The highway starts where I-90 meets I-94 near Toma and travels west, ending at the Wisconsin-Minnesota state border. Tonight's celebration included a meal, speeches, and a tribal drum group. Sandra Winishek says an essential part of the bill being passed and she is beyond happy that her dream is finally a reality. Oh, I think it's, it's, the, it's, it's absolutely grand. I, I'm so happy that we're at this point now after five years. When a chick dug back uncovering the names of Ho-Chunk Code talkers, so far 14 late Ho-Chunk men have been awarded the Medal of Honor for their ability to communicate using their tribal language. The red carpet was rolled out in Galesville this morning, all for a good cause. It's for the Wounded Veterans Convoy. It starts in Arcadia, with the convoy rolling through every town in Trumplow County. The Wounded Veterans Ride raises money for local veterans in western Wisconsin. All proceeds raised from the fundraiser are donated to local organizations to help veterans that suffer from PTSD. A hundred years. That's how long the Upper Mississippi River National Wildlife and Fish Refuge has been serving the Cooley region. For a century, the refuge has provided a safe haven for fish, birds, and other species. And today, they're inviting the community to celebrate with live animal presentations, guided tours, and a history presentation. A refuge ranger says it's important to take a step back and admire all the work that has been done since 1924. 100 years is a huge milestone, so it just feels great to be here and honor all the hard work and partnerships that have gone into managing this land and this resource over the last 100 years. He added that even if you couldn't make it today, it's an all year celebration and he insists everybody visits at least once, whether it be for hunting, fishing or even just taking a hike. Juneteenth, a federal holiday celebrated annually on June 19th was honored today at the Lacrosse community at Logan Middle School. The significant holiday holds special meaning for African Americans nationwide. Juneteenth honors June 19, 1865, when the final group of enslaved African Americans in Texas learned of their freedom. According to the executive director and co-founder of Black, despite weather forcing the event indoors, the community turnout remains strong. 
But honestly, the community has showed up and it is lovely to see. Everybody has just been around and been here and it's just been great. Five black owned booth vendors were present at the celebration. Folks also had the chance to enjoy live music from a variety of local artists. The melodies of music filled Roger Herring Stadium this evening. The Lacrosse Blue Stars Drum and Bugle Corps held a free concert. It's a sneak peek of their 2024 production titled Universal. The group supports the Lacrosse Hunger Task Force and asked everyone attending to bring a non-perishable food item. Their 60th anniversary celebration weekend will host shows in Lacrosse starting on Friday, July 5th through Sunday, July 7th. President Biden is behind closed doors at Camp David this weekend, getting ready for Thursday's presidential debate. As for Donald Trump tonight, he's on the campaign trail in Philadelphia. CBS's Natalie Brand joins us with details ahead of the pivotal face-off. I'll say it again and again, vote Christians. Before a room full of conservative Christians, former President Trump touted the Supreme Court's decision two years ago Monday to overturn Roe versus Wade. And we've gotten abortion out of the federal government and back to the states. I think most of us are a one-issue voter. And Anti-abortion activists, including Hokaved Torres, say they will push Trump to support a federal ban on abortion, a move the former president has said he does not support. The people he surrounds himself for, with are pro-life. So we are confident that, you know, his mind could be changed. There is a lot that the former president could do if put back into office with just executive action. Alexis McGill Johnson of Planned Parenthood's political arm says reproductive rights are still driving support for President Biden. The energy is on fire on the ground. People understand what it means to have a freedom taken away, especially one that we have enjoyed for almost 50 years. President Biden is expected to attack Trump as a threat to abortion rights during Thursday's debate as both campaigns try to break through to undecided voters. Have you made up your mind about who you're going to vote for for president in November? I've been going back and forth on this, back and forth on this. Trump held a rally in Battleground, Pennsylvania Saturday evening. President Biden remains at Camp David through the weekend, privately preparing for next week's debate. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. NASA has pushed back the return of Boeing's first crew mission to the International Space Station. The Starliner's mission was planned to last nine days. Starliner's launch two weeks ago was picture perfect, but just hours into the test flight, they ran into a problem, a helium leak. The Boeing-built spacecraft had launched with one small leak. Now it has five. Starliner also lost five small engines on its final approach to the space station. All but one were recovered, but the glitches convinced NASA to delay Starliner's return to Earth. They're cleared to come home in an emergency. If they really need to leave right now, they could. It's not like they're Here, stranded on the space station, but uh, NASA just wants to get as much information as they can before the crew comes home. So far, all these surprises have been in Starliner's service module but it gets thrown away before the capsule re-enters the Earth's atmosphere, meaning engineers need to examine the faulty hardware while in space. Boeing hoped this test flight would lead to regular astronaut flights to the ISS for NASA starting early next year. That's now in jeopardy. Coming up on News 8, prices are rising. Homes are now the most expensive in the United States than they've ever been. Those numbers when we return. Did you know that when you buy from Morey's, you get Morey's Promise? Morey's will always offer you our best price first, up front, pure and simple. And our product specialists are commission free, so there's no haggling necessary. Our lifetime powertrain warranty on new vehicles covers your engine and transmission nationwide for life. Also, our powertrain warranty on Morey's certified pre-owned vehicles covers you for 10 years, 100,000 miles, and much, much more. Morey's, moving life forward. As your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we wear many hats. We take pride in serving our members and our community by going the extra mile in everything we do. Because we not only work here, we live here. 
Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information. Up to 60% off list at the 4th of July blowout at Slumberland Furniture. Explosive deals everywhere, like this classic sofa in three colors, or a Chase sofa for just $5.98. Recline and save for just $3.99. Get this incredible deal, head-up base and 8-inch mattress, just $4.99 for both. Plus, our 365-night sleep guarantee. What a sale. The 4th of July blow-up at Slumberland Furniture. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. New data shows existing homes for sale in America are the most expensive they've ever been. According to the National Association of Realtors, the price increased in May for the 11th consecutive month. The median price of a previously owned home in the U.S. last month is now more than $419,000. That's the highest price on record, and it's up 5.8% from last year. According to Zillow, households would need to save more than $127,000 to make a down payment on a typical home and afford the mortgage payment. Meanwhile, mortgage rates fell for the third straight week to their lowest level in almost three months. Freddie Mac reported Thursday the standard 30-year fixed rate mortgage averaged 6.87% for the week ending June 20th. That's down from last week's 6.95% average and down from a 2024 peak of 7.22%. Still, mortgage rates remain higher than anything seen in the decade before 2022. That's the year the Federal Reserve began to raise interest rates to combat inflation. Coming up on News 8, clearing of the facts. Why health experts are warning people that social media influencers are not a reliable source of medical information in just a few minutes. And boy, I'm meteorologist Bill Grawl. We could sure use some dry days ahead. I will let you know if any are in my eight day forecast that's coming up after the break. Dear unbreakable spirit, you roam on paths called impossible. Own a legend, Toyota Trucks. Right now, get 2.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Tundra. Toyota, let's go places. Now's the time to get a great deal on taking care of your property. You need the number one selling subcompact tractor in the U.S. so you can do it all and do it right. Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut and Sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Right now, bring home select Kubota equipment for zero down, 0% zero APR for up to 60 months, plus save up to $1,050. Visit any of your local Johnson Tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. The heat is on. And so is Carl's. Salute to savings sale. Save up to 45% on major appliances. Get up to $1,000 back with Carl's exclusive rebates. Get this 28 cubic foot refrigerator for only $14.99. See the all new washer, dryer, combi models. All TVs are on sale. Shop our Serta iComfort Eco Mattresses. And our great selection of name brand grills. Carl's. Salute to savings sale. Carl's is servicing dealers since 1956. Every week it costs more to feed my family. Prices are just out of control. Boy, inflation is really hurting us. It's got to stop. Career politicians like Biden and Baldwin just don't get it. They're making things harder for folks here in Wisconsin. By stopping the crazy spending that caused inflation and cutting red tape, we can bring prices down. It's time for a change. I'm Eric Hovde. I approve this message. I'll get the job done for Wisconsin families. Your journey to wellness begins at Vernon Memorial Healthcare, where excellence in orthopedic care is a reality. From initial consultation to post-operative recovery, every step of the way is tailored to you. The numerous awards for orthopedic services are a testament to our entire team's skill and dedication. Your path to wellness is paved with our unwavering support and expertise. Trust us for a brighter, more active tomorrow. Vernon Memorial Healthcare. Dear Sharp Curves, Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. Because, man, we got traction. Right now, lease a fun-to-drive new Corolla for $2.19 a month. Toyota. Let's go places. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows, installed by our experienced team. Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. 
Health experts are warning that social media influencers are not a reliable source of medical information. As much of the nation is dealing with extreme summer heat, medical experts are concerned about false and potentially dangerous messages spreading online. In one video, a TikTok influencer who said people shouldn't wear sunscreen was liked 36 million times. Numerous reports over the decades have shown the link between UV radiation from the sun and skin cancers. And doctors fear these false messages could result in health problems. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says less than 30% of people under the age of 30 properly use sunscreen. Let's send it over to meteorologist Bill Grawl for a look at our weekend weather forecast. Well, they're not a, a reliable source of weather information either. I thought I'd throw that in there. All right. Uh, well, it's no secret that it has been very, very wet over the past uh, several weeks and especially the last couple of days. Boy, doesn't it seem like it was just yesterday we were talking about drought conditions. Now we need the rain to stop. These are river flood warnings. Many area rivers are near or above flood stage. That includes the Mississippi, of course, also the Zumbro River, uh, the Root River, the Upper Iowa River, the Trempolo River, the Black River, the Yellow River, and the Kickapoo River, all under some sort of flat, uh, flood warning or flood advisory or flood watch due to all of the recent rainfall. Here's some specific data along the Mississippi. Uh, Wabasha, the only one so far above flood stage, but we're getting close here in the cross at 11.64, and all of these locations expected to crest above flood stage, resulting in minor flooding in Wabasha and Winona and moderate flooding here in the cross and also downstream in Prairie du Chien and McGregor. Now these numbers and these dates could fluctuate a little bit. River forecasts can be rather changeable, so stay tuned, if you, especially if you have interests along uh, the Mississippi River. Keep an eye on all those other rivers as well. All right, things quieting down in downtown La Crosse. 81 the high today, 69 the low. 84 and 62 are the averages. 97 and 44 the record. Just over an inch of rainfall here in La Crosse, but boy, a lot more in other parts of the viewing areas. Uh, you saw at the top of the show, anywhere from three to five inches plus of rainfall in many areas over the past 24 to 48 hours. 72 degrees at the airport and downtown winds out of the west northwest at seven and there's the Mississippi stage at 11.64 and rising. The Chippewa River's rising as well at 764, uh, 68 degrees with a mostly cloudy sky in Eau Claire with wet streets from a recent rain shower. Current temperatures have cooled into the upper 60s to lower 70s. It's still rather muggy. Dew points in the 60s to around 70, so that's still in that sticky to uncomfortable range. The good news, those dew points will come down a bit heading into tomorrow morning, so a little bit less humid overnight and early tomorrow. Winds out of the north Northwest 5 to 15 gusting upwards of 20 miles per hour. So still some light showers uh, tracking southeast across the area. The heavier stuff is now uh, tracking out of Wisconsin into far eastern Iowa, northern Illinois. Again, just some light showers just to the north and west of La Crosse up towards Black River Falls and into Clark County. Otherwise, that area of low pressure, which was the cause for all the recent rainfall, Finally getting a kick to the east that is taking the showers and thunderstorms with it. So Sky Tracker will show uh, generally uh, clearing skies, or I should say clearing from the rain overnight uh, with a mix of clouds and stars. Dry tomorrow and then some much needed dry time heading into our Monday as well. It's not until Monday evening or night when our next chance of showers and thunderstorms arrives. Temperatures tomorrow, upper 70s to lower 80s across the uh, uh, area, including La Crosse County. Uh, lower 80s down to the south. And again, the main uh, thing to notice for tomorrow is the fact that I am expecting a dry day, uh, much needed dry conditions for tomorrow and Monday. So here's my forecast. Chance of showers through about midnight or so. Otherwise, some lingering clouds, lows around 62 in La Crosse. Tomorrow, 81, mostly to partly cloudy. Again, a much needed dry day. Also dry for Monday. It's not until Monday night into Tuesday with our next chance of showers and thunderstorms. Quite warm on Tuesday as well, 88. More uh, needed dry days on Wednesday and Thursday. Another chance of rain later next week, centered around Friday, and next weekend is looking dry right now as well, upper 70s to lower 80s. So Michael, uh, hopefully this forecast pans out because this would be great news where we're seeing more dry days than wet days over the next eight days. I'll send it back to you. Thanks, Bill. Coming up in sports, the Brewers' West Coast struggles continue. Plus, the track and field Olympic trails are underway, and UWL has an athlete hoping to represent Team USA. Kate Overton is in next with the highlights.
News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin with six locations of fun. Here at the Y, we offer more than just a job. We offer the chance to make a difference in a fun, flexible environment where our mission and core values drive every decision we make. Join us in this amazing work. For specific positions and details, visit our website. Chevy Trucks Advanced Camera Technology lets you see over, under, through. Up to eight available cameras and 14 views, so you can focus on the view that really matters. Don't miss a thing. Chevy's got you. Get 1.9% financing on this 2024 Silverado when you finance with GM Financial. Or get 5750 total value on this Silverado when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Visit hometownchevy.com. Are you looking for a high paying career without any experience? Chart Industries has the opportunity you've been waiting for. Starting wage $30 per hour, highest pay in the area, guaranteed 40 hours, and so much more. If you are making less than $60,000 and want a healthy work life balance, apply at jobs.chartindustries.com today. That's jobs.chartindustries.com. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. I'm 82. 86. 90 years young. Eric Hovde thinks people like us shouldn't be able to vote. If you're in a nursing home, you only have five, six month life expectancy. Almost nobody in a nursing home is in a point to vote. Son, I've served this country. I think I can handle a ballot. What a jerk. Eric Hovde, I'm fully aware of whom I'm voting for, and it won't be you. Here at the Y, we offer more than just a job. Experience the personal satisfaction that comes from nurturing the potential of youth and teens, improving our community's health and well-being, and providing support to our neighbors. Join us in this amazing work. Covering all of the exciting action from your community. Here's News 8 Now Sports with Kate Overton. Welcome to News 8 Now Sports. I'm Kate Overton. When it comes to the Olympics, it's the best of the best, and it's not often we get a local on the big stage. Tonight, UWL Sam Blaskowski was competing in the Olympic Trials 100 meter dash. If he qualifies tonight, he'll run in the semifinals tomorrow. A long ways to go before representing Team USA, but a chance is all Blaskowski needed. Now Sam got stuck right next to Noah Lyles and no love from the cameraman right past him, but that's all right because he was all business. Keep your eye on lane five, Blasowski. A great start keeping up, but there you can see a slight difference in the best in division three in the best in the world. But it doesn't matter because Blasowski ran a 10.23 and that was good enough to put him through into the semifinals. He had the 22nd fastest time. He'll go again tomorrow evening for the semifinals with the finals tomorrow night. Now I was hoping to have some lacrosse team softball highlights for the show, but Mother Nature had other plans. The steam were scheduled to face the Mankato Habaneros for the first time on the season, but that game is moved to Monday. They've also got a couple of other home games next week, including a doubleheader on Tuesday and a noon start time on Wednesday. So a lot of options if you still haven't got the chance to see a game in person. Loggers are playing, but Mother Nature decided to push their start time back a little bit. So they're still underway. Loggers up big 11 to 1 in the eighth inning. They've got another home game tomorrow evening against Thunder Bay. Switching gears to the MLB. It's been an up and down West Coast trip for the Brewers, taking two out of three against the Angels. But now against the Padres, things haven't been too hot. Milwaukee entering tonight's game on a two game losing streak, trying to get in the win column. Let's go there. Scoreless game early on with a young Carlos Rodriguez makes a mistake, leaves one over the plate, and Jackson Merrill takes this pitch deep. A three-run home run for the Padres as they take the lead. Later in the inning, full count, breaking ball, and Kim liked that pitch. He gives it a ride to left. That's gone for a solo home run. Padres go up four, six to zero in the ninth, but with the bases loaded, Bryce Terang is going to make this game interesting. A grand slam home run that pulls Milwaukee within two. But that's as close as they would get. Contreras with the grounder to third and Machado 
throws him out at first, and that's the game. Brewers lose their third straight, 6-4, to four, the final. Staying in the division, the Cubs hosting the New York Mets. Bleacher Creatures in full effect today, and so is the Chicago offense. First inning, two men on for Seiya Suzuki. He lines one into left field. That's going to bring in a run. Cubs take an early lead. Still in the first. Now two to nothing, and Christopher Morrell gets one through up the middle. Suzuki scores. Cubs lead three to zero. And then the two out rally continues. Dansby Swanson lines one down the third baseline, and it's trouble. Morrell coming around from first. He's in to score. Cubs blow this game wide open. And then in the third inning, nobody on, and Morrell gets all of this baseball deep to center field for a solo shot as Chicago rolls in this one, eight to one, the final. The Twins also on the West Coast. They're taking on the Athletics. Tie game in the second inning. But with two men on, Manuel Margot crushes this baseball. A deep shot to left for a three-run home run. Twins in front. Then later in the second, two men on. And again, this time, Jose Miranda lines one to center field. That's down up against the wall. Correa scores. Royce Lewis trying to score from first. He's in there. Twins take a 6-1 to one lead. Only one... Man needed the ball today, and that was Bailey over. 27 up, 27 down, or not 27 up, 27 down for the righty, but a complete game, nothing less. Four hitter as the Twins take the win 10 to 2. History on the PGA Tour today as Cam Young shot a 59 during the third round of the Travelers Championship. That's 11 under par, which put him at minus 13 on the tournament. He had seven birdies, two eagles. No bogeys in the round, and it's just the 13th sub-60 score in PGA Tour history. A lot of guys in the mix towards the top of the leaderboard. Scotty Scheffler, Colin Morikawa, Xander Shoffley, and a lot of others, all with a chance to win. Final round tomorrow right here on CBS. All of highlights from that final round tomorrow night. But for now, that's all for sports. We'll be right back. The middle ground and get things moving. I've done that as a state lawmaker, and it's what I'll do in Congress. I'll work with both parties to get things done for workers and families. I'm Katrina Shanklin, and I approve this message. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. Find yours with Ford F-150, gas, hybrid, or all electric. Whether it's towing, powering up, or getting from zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds, what you choose to do with that much power is up to you. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Now, get up to 7,400 in total savings on a 2024 Ford F-150 XLT. Only at your local Northland Ford dealers. Join today's shoppers as they explore Sweet Valley Artisans. There's so many good things here. How do you pick just one? You don't. I've been looking for something to hang in my garage. What about this or this? Vintage clothing and accessories? Let's check it out. Have you found anything yet? Um, yeah? I'm getting hungry just looking at this. I know what you mean. Step in and find your treasure today. Craving authentic Mexican flavors? Look no further than Senor Villa. At Senor Villa, we bring the taste of Mexico to your table every day. Join us for our unbeatable $5 lunch special packed with flavor and value. And don't miss our nightly specials where the fiesta never ends. Senor Villa, where great food meets great value. Visit us today. Senor Villa, the taste of Mexico you've been craving. It took 34 years to change this place from worn out to wonderful. Slow and steady to keep overhead low. The same slow, steady growth has grown us to the best team of home improvement professionals in the region, over 80 today. Voted best of lacrosse because of exceptional quality and unexpected low prices. Whatever your next project, contact us today for a prompt free estimate. You have a problem, we have the solution. Better than you imagined for less than you expected. Contact the board store today. Congress has been spinning its wheels going nowhere. I'm Katrina Shankland. In the state capitol, I've passed 225 bipartisan laws to help farmers, workers, and families. I approve this message because I have the experience to get things moving. Here's a surfing legend that might surprise you. She's retired from competition, but still loves catching waves for a good cause. CBS's Carter Evans reports. 
Here we go. Oh, yes. Surfing a wave this size takes skill. Oh, she made it. Even people on the beach sound shocked. I think she's going to connect, dude. That's a dog tearing it up in a good way. That's because Skylar the surf dog is a beast on the board. She surfs legit waves, like yeah. real waves. She surfs some pretty big waves. Head high for you or me. Yeah. Probably caught like 10 footers before. Ooh, Skylar! Homer Hennard says he could tell Skylar had skills the first time he brought her to the beach as a pup. She ran and jumped on the board. I seen she had really good balance, and I was like, oh, it's on. Come on, girl. Come on. We hit the water in Santa Cruz, California, to see for ourselves. Sharing a wave together, it's obvious this furry phenom has flow. Skylar's earned the title of top dog for her canine gnarliness. But what stands out is her ability to surf solo. She was naturally leaning on rail and punching bottom turns and lifting up one paw to go this way. And, and it was like she really got it. Like she was really surfing. Eventually, she was ready for the holy grail of surfing. They rounded up a barrel for this cattle dog at Kelly Slater's surf ranch. We came out of the tube and it was just, it was amazing. I can't even explain it. And she was looking back at me and I was like, that was awesome. <laughs> now at 15, Skylar's surf sessions are primarily surf therapy. Yeah, doggy. Are you doing Helping people overcome challenges by riding waves. And just this amazing thing happens, you know, where they're just smiling. I almost can see disabilities go away for a brief moment. She looks like she's loving it. How do you know she's actually having fun? How do you know she likes this? Um, you can tell. Once we're riding a wave and she's hanging 10 on the nose with her tongue out, looking back up at me, she's been the best surf partner I could ever have. Who knew a salty dog could be so sweet? Carter Evans, CBS News, Santa Cruz. We'll have one final check of your forecast when we return. It's the summer sale at Home Furniture. Everything is on sale. Get up to 30% off regular prices. This Leslie sofa is just $9.99, and this Spindrift dining set is $12.99. Get savings throughout the showroom during the summer sale at Home Furniture. Have you ever had to move? It's brutal. Why do we have so much stuff? Well, at Chrysler Winona, we're moving, and we're trying to pack light by throwing out some great deals. A lightly used 23 Grand Cherokee L with third row, heated seats, and remote start is just $38,990. Or pre-owned Chrysler Pacifica with heated leather and seating for seven starting at just $23,990. So come see us before we move at Chrysler Winona, downtown Winona. At Union State Bank, we believe in empowering our young savers to dream big and achieve more. While the most important part of being a kid is being a kid, we encourage their parents to set them on a journey of financial success. The Junior Savings Account from Union State Bank is designed especially for kids up to age 18. A savings account for your kids is a crucial step in shaping their future and instilling valuable life skills. Take the next step and set your kids on the path towards a brighter and more secure financial future. Union State Bank, where customers and community come first. Member FDIC. At Sealand's Carpet Land, your family comes first. We're more than just a flooring store. We're your partners in creating a home that lasts a lifetime. Discover a world of comfort and durability with our huge selection. Whether it's cozy carpeting for your living room, timeless hardware for a classic touch, or versatile tiles that stand up to the hustle and bustle of family life. Sealand's Carpet Land in Coombe Valley. Our number one priority is you. Stop in today. Jolivet Family Farms Homegrown Goodness. Stop by today for some homegrown raspberries, kohlrabi, onions, baby red potatoes, carrots, popcorn, and so much more. Pick your own raspberries daily from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. Also available in the market. Check for availability. Find distinctive crafts and decor. Take home some cookies, breads, bars, or pies from our homemade bakery. Only at Jolivet Family Farms, West Salem. During the summer patio sale at Home Seasonal Concepts, get up to 40% off regular prices on portion patio purchases, like this six-piece patio dining set for just $18.89. Summer patio sale going on now at Home Seasonal Concepts. 
Showers ending mostly cloudy overnight, a low of 62 degrees. Couple of much needed dry days tomorrow, 81, Monday, 85. Next chance of showers and thunderstorms Monday night and into Tuesday. We want to thank you for watching News 8 Now this weekend. We'll see you right here tomorrow night.